Hey, so remember this week we are talking about poetry. So poetry, our essential question too is what excites us in nature? So we read yesterday three different poems and each one was about something in nature. So the first, remember, was titled No Shape. No Shape. And the author, the poet, as they're called, made a shape in the snow and they described the snow. Remember that poetry speaks to our senses. So it's, they aim to make us feel something, feel some sort of way. And then they're also, they go along with all of the senses, smell, sight, hearing, touch, taste. So that's so important. Poetry is meant to bring out emotions and feelings. So we talked about that yesterday and we read Snow Shape, we read Nature Walk, and then we read In the Sky, In the Sky. So each of the three poems were just a little different, but they all were poetry. And I think that is so exciting because it gives me ideas. That shows me that not all poetry, not all poems have to sound exactly the same or do the same things. So we're going to add to that today, all right, and add to our understanding of poetry and what makes a poem. So I want you to take out your vocabulary words. So we wrote all of our vocabulary words from the week together on a piece of paper. So Thomas has hers too, and they're right here. Remember this list that we put together of our vocabulary words? Get that out. So we are going to go back through these poems today, and we're going to find the vocabulary words within the poems. Okay, so I really want you to look back at those vocab words and at those poetry words, and I want you to find text evidence today. Okay, so we're going to dive right into these poems, and we're going to pull out the stuff right from the text that is proof and shows examples of where each of these are, especially these last four. Okay, so I want you to find and tell me where you found examples of alliteration. So remember, alliteration is repeating, okay? So it's going to have the same sound at the beginning of each word. So our example was Sally sells seashells by the seashore. It has a flow to it because each word has the same sound sound at the beginning. It repeats that same sound, okay? That's alliteration. Find alliteration in one of the three poems and let me know which one and what lines they are. All right, the next one is repetition, okay? So this, it says that why might a po um, poets who repeat words or phrases in a poem use repetition? So look for something where the same word comes up a couple times in it. They repeat the same word at least two times. So look and see if you can find repetition. Remember the first part of that word is repeat. So that's a clue. If you're looking for repetition, you're looking for a word that repeats itself. Find an example of repetition. Next is free verse. So remember that free verse means it doesn't rhyme. Okay, so find somewhere in one of these poems where it doesn't rhyme at the ending of the line, okay? So rhyming is like fox, box, coat, boat. So it's not gonna end with those same rhyming sounds. It has still feels like a flow to it, but no rhyming words necessary. All right, that might be a little tricky, but I believe in you and I think you can do it. The last one is simile. Can you say that word? Simile. Simile kind of sounds, and when it looks at it, it kind of looks like the word smile, but it always makes me smile when I think of a simile. So simile is when the poet or the author is describing something using something else. So our example was, um, Miss Thomas ran as fast as lightning, okay? Or what else could we do? Um, the clock was moving as slow as molasses. Now, molasses is a really, like, kind of like maple syrup. It just, if you're pouring it, it pours slowly. 
Okay, so that is a simile. It's describing this as Bill was as fast as a cricket. <gasps> Can you imagine a cricket? Hop, 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 hop. He was hopping so fast along. So look for somewhere in one of these poems that describes something like something else. So normally you're going to see the word as in there. So it was the same as this, as fast as this. All right, so today we are really going to look at the structure of these poems and really see if we can find these vocabulary words and these poetry words. All right, let me know where you find them. Write them down or type them up, whatever is easiest for you, and get those to me through either Dojo or in Schoology. Please let me know if you have any questions. You will scroll down and you can see all of the poems down below. So you can pull them up, make them bigger, and really take your time with this assignment today. Let me know again if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.